Hi and welcome to MRTV. This here has just arrived at the MRTV headquarters. This is the Vive facial tracker and it allows you to track your face and show it in virtual reality. Now, this was just announced last week. I directly ordered it and well, you can get it for $129 and it's only compatible with the Vive Pro and Vive Pro I. Now, in this video, I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to connect it to my Vive Pro. So, absolutely stay tuned watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. This is how the Vive Facial Tracker arrives at your doorstep. Gonna set you back $129 and I must say the box is smaller than I thought. This is what's in the box. Of course, the Vive Facial Tracker and also there's a quick start guide and I'm going to have a look at this right now here. Here it is. And actually I did have to look into it in order to install it on my Vive Pro. I'm going to show it to you in a moment. All right, this is it. This is the Vive Facial Tracker. Comes here with this cable. Of course, this cable goes into the headset, into the Vive Pro or the Vive Pro I. And actually, at this moment in time where I do this voiceover, I did find out that it also does work on the Valve Index and other headsets. Nice. So, here, this is the sensor which will track your face. Let's get rid of these foils. Yes. And now let us attach this to the Vive Pro here. And this is USB-C. If you want to attach this to your Valve Index, you will need a USB-C to a adapter. But such an adapter is not very expensive and well, it does work. So now let us connect this to my Vive Pro here now. First of all, get the face padding off Next, you have to get rid of this little part here. I thought I would have broken my Vive Pro here, but no, actually it is supposed to come off like this. Yep, then you will attach the tracker to the Vive Pro and it perfectly fits the Vive Pro, of course. And next step, you put in the USB-C cable here and then, yeah, you're ready to go. Just put back this plastic part as the next step here, simple, and then put the facial padding back on, and then you're ready to go. And now let's check this out. All right, this was the installation, not very complicated, and this is how it looks on the Vive Pro now. Yeah, I think it's all right for an add-on module. You won't see it when you are in VR, and yeah, hopefully in the future this is going to be integrated in headsets, but as an add-on module, this is okay. No, now I'm going to install the software and I'm going to check it out for you. And here I am from virtual reality. I have installed the Vive Facial Tracker and it works. I'm pretty amazed how simple that was. So installation, as you've seen, was really simple. And now I've made a Ready Player Me avatar within one minute. I imported it here to Neos VR and basically it works out of the box. It could directly tell that I have the facial tracker installed and I would want to say thank you to Electronus. He is here, the community manager of this Neos. He directly saw that I'm, there's a new player and he helped me set this up. And it was really, really simple to do that. Wow. And now, as you can tell, I have facial tracking. And this is pretty amazing, I would say, for the first try and for getting this Ready Player Me avatar within one minute. So this is incredible. I'm sure you can even make it better. You can have like better rigged avatars, but out of a photo to have this, an avatar that directly works with facial tracking out of the box, wow. And let me check out what this can do. Nose. Yes. Now that is really pretty amazing. It does not have tongue yet. Other, well, these Ready Player Me avatars, but I'm sure you can find other avatars that can do this. Cool. And um, yeah, lots of opportunities, lots of cool things you can do with it, especially if you love 
these kind of social VR apps like Neos, like VR Chat, like Somnium Space, then this is definitely for you. Unfortunately, this only works with the Vive Pro and the Vive Pro I. I think it's a missed opportunity if, if this would work with, with all the other heads, at least with the Valve Index, for example. Wow, that would be incredible, and I hope people can somehow hack this in. But I must really say, this is pretty amazing, and I think for $129, this is actually a steal if you have the Vive Pro or the Vive Pro I, and I'm definitely going to play more with this. Cool, this is the first avatar. This is my first avatar with facial tracking, and for the first try, I just received the package, I just put it on the Vive Pro, got the Ready Player Me avatar, put it in Neos VR, and this is the result. Nice. So let me see if I can do an evil smile here. <laughs> okay, it works. Now, I don't have the Vive Pro Eye. I have the, the normal Vive Pro. So my eye movements are not my actual eye movement that you see here now. They were actually like uh, in the Ready Player Me avatar already, but it's okay. Um, probably I will have a Vive Pro Eye at one moment or any other. Um, headset that supports this, but well, at the moment it's only the Vive Pro I, right? But cool, nice, Whew. very, very good. And I'm definitely going to check out more what this can do, but for a very first impression, I believe this is pretty nice. So back to the studio now. Okay, before we go back to the studio, I want to show you another avatar, and this is the face tracking demo here in Neos, and this avatar can also do the tongue tracking. Okay, just want to show you what's all possible and yeah, cool, nice. I really do like this face tracking stuff. So now let's get back to the studio. Okay, no, one more, one more I have to show you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the studio now. All right, I must say for the very first try, I'm really impressed by what this can do. You saw it, I just got it, I opened it, installed it, installed the software, made the Ready Player Me avatar, there was like one minute, put it into Neos VR and everything was automatically detected, this device. So yeah, cool, really cool. I really, really like it and well, there's so much potential in this. Fantastic and uh, wow, I would love to have like a perfectly rigged avatar of me with, with all kinds of facial expressions or that, that the avatar is able to do them. The Ready Player Me avatar was actually already quite good for that it's free and that I made it in like one minute. Wow, I really, really like this, I must say. And I think that $129 is a good price for this. And people who do have these headsets and who do love virtual worlds like VR Chat and Neos, they will love this and it's great, really fantastic. I wish this will be built into future headsets. I believe it will be built into future headsets and well, probably the HTC Vive standalone headset, well, you can still keep on dreaming. At least I hope that this might happen. Yep, other than that, that was my first impression of the Vive facial tracker. I personally really like it and I can recommend it to you. And well, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and make some noise for the algorithm. Let YouTube know that you like, love my videos. So give it a thumbs up and do leave a comment. Do leave a comment down in the comment section of this video. For example, let me know, are you going to pick this one up? If you own the Vive Pro or the Vive Pro I, do let me know in the comment section. If you want more videos from me, then absolutely become a member of the MRTV Elite. That's mrtvelite.com. And well, it only costs $1. You get more videos behind the scenes, goodness, and you get my first impressions of these things first there. So definitely, if you want more, go there. It's worth it. Other than that, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.